Hey, Bjorn Strong here. I'm here. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Science, where today we are going to be looking at diseases and medicine and treatment and how to deal with these problems. Now, everything I'm going to say today is available from other sources online. I don't know if there's any kind of new discoveries here, but hopefully uh, we'll demonstrate how diseases are going to work. And this will be kind of helpful for anyone who wants to know how best to deal with diseases. Now, it's useful to start out by dividing diseases into three different sorts of groups. First, there are the infectious diseases which include the infections, flu, plague, malaria, and sleeping sickness. Next, there are the parasites, which include the gut worms and the muscle parasites. And finally, there are the mechanites, which include the fibrous mechanites and the sensory mechanites. And each one of these will deal with medicine in a little bit different way. Each one of them, I should say, has its own kind of unique symptoms and problems, but we're not going to be looking at that here. We're going to be looking mainly about just the way that they get treated, the way you get better. Also, we should point out that for all of these, the way you catch all of them, with the exception of infections, is just from an AI storyteller event. So there's no way to avoid, like it's not, you're not getting sick because their stuff is dirty or because someone brought diseases in it. It's just, you know, Cassandra or Phoebe or Randy saying, hey, it's time for diseases. The exceptions are infections. You can get infections from an AI storyteller, but you can also get them if you are treating burns or cuts with poor medicine or in a dirty environment. There's a chance of infection there as well. Now, let's start, though, talking about infectious diseases. Here, I've got all of my uh, patients here who have an infection. And you can see... Well, even if I turn off the debugs, you can see going here that there is a percentage of the infection rate and then there's a percentage of immunity. And as time goes on, each of those will go up. If the infection gets to 100%, the patient will die. And that's true of any infectious diseases. They all have the potential to be fatal, even the flu. Um, but if the immunity gets to 100% before the, inf the infection does, then they'll survive. So it's a race. You want to get that immunity up to the top, up to 100% before the infection gets there. Now, first we'll look at how we can speed up this immunity rate. Uh, that is done by having somebody rested in bed. So if Finn here, have him just pop out of bed and we hit the info on him, we will see that his immunity gain speed is 100%. Now, if we um, let him go back to bed real quick, there we go, we'll see this thing pops up to 110%. Now, if he was in a hospital bed, he would be getting 114%. If he had a vitals monitor next to him, he'd be getting 112%. And those stacks, so if he was in a hospital with a vitals monitor, would be 116%. So you get that boost of a couple of percentage points for each one of those. Now, notice that although Finn here is in a a medical bed and he gets 110%. If he was down here in a regular bed, he would still get that 110%. So it doesn't actually matter if the bed is set for medical or not, just being rested gets you from 100 to 110. Now we can also come over here and look and click on this and we can see what else affects it. So the base value is 100. He gets a multiplier by 110 for being there, but things can lower it. So if you're hungry, it goes down. If your blood filtration is down to so bad kidneys, bad heart, you, that will slow down your immunity gain speed. And also an age multiplier starting at, I believe, 40. I will look up the numbers and put them on screen. Um, you get a debuff for each year above that, slowing down how fast uh, you will gain immunity. Now, you'll notice when you look at this, that there is no multiplier for medicine at all. And that make you make you wonder, what does medicine do exactly? So let's find out. We have got these guys in bed and we have got the got two guys up top are both set to no medicine at all. And the last three, they're getting the good stuff. And we're going to have the doctors come and treat them. And we're going to see if we can figure out what is going on. Okay, we've had one night go by since uh, they've been tended, and they are 70% of the way on to their next tending. I've turned these debugs on so we can see what's going on. And you'll see here that the first two fins who have no medicine at all, they are uh, both at 28% is how far their infection is, and their immunity is at 29%. Now, if we go into these guys, we'll see again we've got immunity here 
at 29% for, well, 28 for there, uh, for each one of them. And that might just be if he was treated a few seconds before. Give it a second to find out. Yeah, now he's at 29 along with the rest of them. But if you look at how far the infection has gone, it's 22% here, only 15% here, up to 23% here, and then here it's at 29 and 29. So what's making those differences? Probably the medicine, but these all had the same medicine, so why the difference is there? Well, you'll notice here in the debug, you know, this circle, like it's kind of, it's a kind of dirty white there. It's a bright white there. There it's kind of a grayish color. That circle tells you the 10 quality. And here the debugs actually says what it is. Here we have a 10 quality of 100%. Here we have a 10 quality of 57. And down here we have one of 63. Now the 10 quality is calculated. It's a mixture of the doctor's ability and the quality of the medicine. These docs, they are all at level uh, three. So they're not great. So the medicine's shouldering most of the burden here. But you'll notice that the uh, health, the one here with 100% has the lowest infection rate. So it looks like what medicine does, it doesn't speed up how fast you get immune, but instead it slows down how fast the disease, is, disease progresses. Since it's a race, you want to get that uh, immunity number to 100% before the infection number gets there, bumping up the immunity and cranking back on the infection rate, both are really, really helpful. Now, it also suggests that if it's the, that if the medicine is affecting it by affecting the 10 quality, that even if we kept the medicine the same, if these doctors were really good and these ones were bad, we'd still get better results here. Let's test that out. All right, so here we have our infected guys again. Every single one of them is just set over here to uh, have regular old medicine. And what we'll do is we'll come and we will take the uh, max skills tool. We'll give it to our three docs down here. So yeah, you guys now are really good and you two are still pretty sucky. Very good. All right, now we'll undraft you guys. You can get your uh, treatments done. Tend to your wards here. And we'll come back as we did before after it's been, um, you know, after the treatment is at about kind of 75, 70, 75 percent along and see how everyone's doing. All right, we're 72, 73% coming along here. Let's see how everyone's doing. So uh, Finn up top, 58% treatment quality, and he is at 26% uh, of his infection. Finn down here, a mere 12%. He's all the way up to 35%. So these are the guys who the crappy doctors were, were treating. Now for the good ones, we have got 100% and seven, you know, uh, 10 quality, 70%. Um, infection level here, uh, 95 and 18% and 89 and 19%. So yes, it looks like both the quality of the medicine and the quality of the doctors make a really big difference for uh, infectious diseases. Not that they speed up the uh, immunity gain rate because they slow down the infection and like leave more time. So for these deadly diseases, you want to pull out all the stops, go ahead and get a medical bed, get a vitals monitor, give your good medicine with your good doctors. All of those things are going to help you kick this thing fast. Now, since 10 quality is so important, you might wonder whether we get a bonus to it by having a hospital bed and a vitals monitor when the tending happens. So we're going to check that out. I've got here our infected guys again, and each of them is set just to regular medicine. We'll just run five trials to see uh, the 25 total 10 qualities. We'll average those and we'll do it again then with all the better equipment and see if the averages are significantly different. So let's let these guys get to work. All right, I tried this five times with nothing with a uh, 
just a monitor only, just a hospital bed only, and then both. And when it was uh, nothing at all, the average 10 quality was 31.6%. When the uh, monitor was added in, that was 36.4. So it went up about 5%. When the hospital beds, but no monitor, we had up to 40.4%. So that's like 10% from where it started. And when both of them were in, the average went up to 51.1% for the 10 quality. All that with normal medicine, remember. So it looks like having better hospital stuff does have an impact on the quality of the tending that you're going to get. All right, now our patients all have sensory mechanites. What we're going to do here is see what exactly medicine does for these. So we've got the two fins up top. They are both set to have no medicine. And then the three down below, they are going to get best quality medical care. All of our doctors are back to just threes on medicine. And we are going to let these guys do their thing. And... See if we can get a sense for what's going to happen. All right. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that they don't stay in bed. Once they get treated, they're kind of up and at them. They're still doing stuff. But let's come have a look at what we can see in the debug info here. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that there is this value ticks to disappear. And it's also the value 10 quality. So our two guys here, they've got 0 and 15. Our three guys who were in the goods got 56, 75, and 63% of the 10 qualities. But now look, there's this ticks to disappear value. And let's just pause it so it stops going down. Um, we've got 1,283,000 over there. Here we've got... Uh, 1,100,000, here we've got 900,000, here we've got 1,600,000, and here we've got uh, 1,116,000. There doesn't seem to be any correlation between that number and anything about tending. So I could be wrong, but my, my understanding from testing around is that that is just a completely random number. Um, but if we keep up at this, there's something else you'll notice. So you'll see there's this severity value. And for him, it keeps going up. And for him, it's going up, but not nearly as fast. And for this person, it's way down, holding steady at point zero zero two. Same here and same here. And that is the thing that the tend quality, which again depends on the type of medicine and the skill of the doctor, makes a difference of. Now, why does that matter? Well, eventually, if it keeps going up, it will get past 50%. And it says mild pain right here right now, but when that gets past uh, 0.5 or 50% for severity, things get bad for the person who is sick. All right, so Finn here, you can see his severity is, it's climbing on up, it's at 0.48 right now. Notice his pain is at plus 20% and his tiredness as, is at um, 170% multiplier. Now, yeah, he just went over, flipped over the, the halfway mark, went into a tense pain. Now it's a 200% multiplier for tiredness and a 60% uh, addition to pain. And that is, as far as I can tell, the whole thing that medicine and treating are doing for you. So these fins here, as long as they're getting good, good tending and they're staying at 0.002% of severity, they're always just going to be in some mild pain, a little bit more tired. But if they're not treated or not treated well, they'll flip over to the really bad state. Now they're not going to die but they may be bedridden if you get into intense pain. But the medicine, it's a little more optional, but it's keeping them from feeling too awful and keeping them on their feet. All right, finally, we are going to look here at the parasites, the uh, gut worms and the muscle parasites. I've given gut worms this time to each of the fins, and I've done something a little bit different. I've come through to each of them, and the first one up top, fin's got no medicine, sorry, uh, no treatment, then no medicine, herbal medicine, regular, and best quality medical care. And if you look, if you come here and you, you hover over here, you'll see um, there's there's the 
pain and the hunger rate and all of that, there's the severity, and then there is also this tended count. So we are going to watch those things as time goes on. Okay, it's been quite a while, but you come over here and you see the tended count at the bottom is four out of five. Duration passed is 92%. So if you see what's going on, poor Finn up here has never been tended at all. So he's a tended count of zero out of five. Um, but other than that, we've got pain at 20%, hunger at 200, severity at 0 0.001. And that is exactly the same for all of these guys all the way down. So none of that has made none of the medical, you know, the, the 10 quality, the kind of medicine, none of that has made any difference whatsoever. And now if we keep on watching here, when he gets to, oh, we just had our fin up top. Uh, lose it, did we? Well, he earned it. He's been sick and in a moderate amount of pain for quite some time. But the rest of these guys, 97%, any second now, we're going to have to get them their last treatment. All right. So, yeah, Finn, let's come do this for you. And we see... All gone. All better. And the same thing is going to happen with each one of these as we go through. So what's interesting about this is that um, here all that matters is that they get the number of treatments and the treatments don't even need medicine. So unlike for the infections and even for the mechanites, there is no reason at all to use medicine. In fact, medicine is a waste on parasite. Okay, so we have learned today that hospital beds and monitors will increase uh, the how fast you gain immunity, but they will also increase the quality of the uh, tending that you get. Whereas on the other hand, uh, the skill of the doctor and the level of medicine won't have any effect on the immunity gain speed, but will also have an effect on the 10 quality. We also learned that 10 quality for infectious diseases makes them progress faster, giving you more time to develop immunity before you die. That 10 quality for the mechanites just keeps them from progressing till the pain becomes overwhelming. And that 10 quality does nothing at all for the parasites. But that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you as always so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what we should look at next time and I'll see you soon.